Today I'm going to show you how to create an awesome thumbnail only using Final Cut Pro X, like this one right here. The thumbnail that I'll be showing you how to make is the one from how to create a blood effect from one of my tutorials in which I show you how the Salsinator created his blood effect in the Black Tiger. So first what I did was I found a image that I liked out of all of this. I went through this and I was like, hmm, you know what, I like this one. So I took it and I cut it down to one frame. And now I have one frame. Because the thumbnail is only one frame long. Then what I did was I looked around and I said, you know what, I'm going to add a title. So let's go to 3D, Custom 3D. Lay it right there. And I'm going to write how to create a blood effect. Bam. Gonna position this up more. Now, this one I obviously want to be smaller. So let's bring the size down a little bit that now the font of this right here I chose to be hmm this the Garamond rough I think that's a nice font and this one I decided should be gas there we go now if you zoom in you can see that it's got little effects there which helps stylize it. Make sure it's not a plain old font. Next, down here, I adjusted the material. I decided I wanted it to be a plaster, like the eggshell plaster. And I chose a nice dark red, like that one. This is the actual one I chose, but it's actually very similar. Trim this down to make sure it's one frame. Now we already have the title and the background, but you do not want the title to blend in with the background, otherwise people won't be able to see it. So how am I going to fix that? Well, I decided I was going to take a blur, drop in a Gaussian blur. Now it looks okay, just like that. I mean, I don't think there's much wrong with it. You could leave it like that, but it helps stylize it by adding a shape mask for the blur, just putting it around the words, feathering a bit. I'm going to add another shape mask for the second pair of words. Ooh, not that one, this one. There, I'm going to slim it up a bit and bring it out. Bam. So you can already tell it looks better. But I wasn't done, so I decided to emphasize the blood, because you don't see much blood over here, do you? So, I took the blood splatter effect, which all you have to do is type in blood splatter PNG, you can find it. If you want to know how I made this entire shot, you can watch my tutorial on how to create a blood splatter effect. So I dropped in this blood splatter effect, and I went down here. You can do Dorkin, but I prefer Multiply it's uh, even darker than that. Then I scaled it up a bit, moved it over. Now to fix it as well, I added another Gaussian, added a shape mask right around the words, lower the feather, and voila. We have blood both sides next thing I wanted to do was make sure you knew it was a Final Cut Pro X tutorial. So I took the little icon. Which I searched Google Images and for Final Cut Pro X icon. This is what popped up. Move it over here in the little corner. And you can shrink it down even more if you want. I think it's fine. Then to make sure when you 
who made it. I put my icon over in the right corner. Skip it down. Now, we just don't want this box. We wanted it to be a little circular. So, went to masks, went to shape mask, dropped in a nice shape mask, then positioned it till it was what I wanted it to look like. Obviously, going fast so this tutorial isn't too long. And voila. A little too big for you, you scale it down. And there. That's how I created this thumbnail. Using only Final Cut Pro X. And there are plenty of other ways to make thumbnails as well as this one right here, how to create a thumbnail for YouTube. Pretty much use the exact same thing, the background, title, little icons, and subscribe button. And there we go. Extremely simple. It might not be as good as the Photoshop thumbnails that people make, but this is an easy way to only use Final Cut Pro if that's all you have. If you want to see more tutorials, subscribe, leave a like, and comment. I'm open to suggestions. If you want to see how I made the blood effect, I'll leave the link in the description. Also leave the link to the Solstinators the Black Tiger if you want to see that. And thank you for watching.